Hello, hello, you absolute gorgeous people. Welcome back to another episode of Global Seasons Mode. This is where we're going to be finding out our next club to do FC24. And now we're going to be taking things off to sunny Spain. I've chosen five teams that I would like to do career mode with. We'll be playing them on Seasons Mode. Give them a rating out of 10 and see which team looks like they could be the winner of the whole damn thing. So let me introduce you to the teams. So we've got Mallorca, Almira who are in La Liga, but from the second division, we've also got Real Valladolid, Tenerife, and finally, Racing Club. So, let's kick things off with a live game. All right, and it's Almira. I'm not gonna say anything why. You know why it's a good career mode option. I know why it's a good career mode option. Everybody knows it. They're pretty much considered Derby County of La Liga. It's that bad. But hopefully, we can when when they eventually get relegated, I think the time this gets uploaded, they probably will get relegated. Well, then maybe then afterwards we can do a bit of a rebuild and reduce the deficit of the history of Almira. Oh, we're going to kick off. It's Man City. Why is it Man City? Completely unfair right here. It's actually Men v Boys. Passing it back to the goalkeeper. What are we going to do here? Oh, oh, we lost it. They've lost it. Oh, my God. How about egg on your face? You're a big disgrace. Oh, get in. I'll tell you that. It's 1-0. And we've got thrown right here. Pozo plays it across. And we can get some good chances. Pozo again. Trying to get a good throw in. No, that's not who I want to pass to. That's the person I want to pass to. Get slight tackled. Referee points to the spot. Man, God is looking down on us. It's an underdog story. And we've just got ourselves a penalty. It would have been absolutely brilliant if that was a red card. I'll be over the moon. All right, let's see if we can do something on the spot right here. A little bit too heavy now. And, but, oh, God damn it. Hit the crossbar. But Suarez taps in the rebound. There it goes, folks. God is an Elmira supporter. And we see Haaland on the counter-attack. He could be able to be really lethal for City. I'm not taking taking this game very lightly. Like, holy crap, we're 2-0 up. What's going to happen? Oh, my God, it could be free. It could be free. Suarez is in. I know it's not Luis Suarez, but either way, it still resorted to the same effect. It's 3-0 Elmira. I couldn't believe it. Someone pinched me. I didn't mean literally pinch me. De Bruyne. Trying to seize a chance. Good tackle again. And we're going to go for another counter. It's, oh, no. No. We went straight back to earth. Kevin De Bruyne twisted. To, oh, my God. Harlan, what a save from Luis Maximilio. Went Montez from the back. The Mexican able to dribble past Harlan. Who would have thought that? Jonathan, I need to stop saying that. That's like a new catchphrase. Who would have thought that? Well, to be fair, I would never predict this scoreline in a lifetime. And, well, there's... Oh, they're getting sloppy, Man City. You know what? I'm going to go for a range. Oh, just wide. And we can see a counter-attack from Man City. Is, oh, oh, my God. Here they come. Here they come. Barricade the doors right here. Coming De Bruyne. What a save from Maximilio. Oh, bloody hell. They're getting close. I'll tell you that, City. Don't let them through. Let's hold the door. Hold the door. Literally. All oh, right. No more puns. Let's defend this right here. Suarez able to get rid of Here we are. Pay off your freaking... Oh, my God. They're going in hard. But look at him. He's on his feet. He doesn't care. He's going to keep on running. Forrest Gump's crying right now. It's motivational. Go for it. Save from Henderson, though. Here we go, counter-attack, and to be fair, uh, it's been one-sided for a bloody good reason. Oh my god, look at the space of Suarez. Oh my god, Luis Suarez. Now, nah, what about this Suarez? Sweats it across. Robberstone to make it 4-0 Almira against Manchester City. Suarez again sees, oh god, he's got so many players around him. Jack Grealish on the ball. Playboy. Oh, hello. He gets absolutely stunned right here. Look at him go, Suarez. Oh, my God. Slide tackle. No. And it's a little tickle at the end. That's absolutely beautiful from Suarez. Oh, my God. What a goal. Kevin De Bruyne gets tackled right here. And uh, your Man City, my opponent, more importantly, is absolutely frustrated. Cross came in, headed down. No, Grealish gets tackled. 
Literally, here it comes, and you can see Suarez, he's one-on-one -on -one through pulled in. Offside, nope, Suarez is at it again. Plays the pass, and my, I'm literally going to walk it home. It's a touchdown. It's 6-0. Oh my, oh and the rage quit as well, followed up. It's just one-sided demolition derby. What can I say about Almira? That really surprised me how good they were. Just literally took the game by the horns and lobbed it across. 9.5 out and hands down. Man, the match goes to Suarez. A lethal, dangerous, strong striker on the ball, which not even Man City can do about it. On to the highlights now, and we've got Mallorca. First of all, let's just show this goal from Odegaard. What a goal. Nothing I could do about that. But the rest of it, well, this whole team took one step backwards, then going forwards. It felt isolated, like Mallorca in real life. My goalkeeper, though, did deserve some praise. So, not much I could say about the game. 2.5, man, the match goes to Mafaro. And then we move on to our second division side, Real Valladolid. And to be honest with you, this team felt like a mosquito. It was buzzing at my appointment. And the sooner or later, it got bit. And boy, oh boy, it was much worse than you thought because we just drained the life out of him. Every time I had chances, sometimes it wasn't going in, but the wingers made the real effect out of it. Literally, just put it on a plate, why don't you? Resulting in a rage quit, 9 out of 10. Man, the match went to the striker, Salah. Finally, racing clubs. And my opponent decided to hit me off pretty strong, to be honest with you. Got the first round in his favour. And we were 2-0 down just like that. But sooner or later, they were down to 10 men. And we were trying our best to not, but the whole team felt like they were 80 years old. Just coming out of the retirement class and just not making an effort whatsoever. Absolute lazy intentions. But you know the old saying? Age is just a number, and boy did they start off rocking, I'll tell you that. 8 out of 10, man of the match went to Mabola. Okay, and oh, Brit's favourite time abroad. Yes, it's Tenerife. Now, it's obvious one why I'll choose this one. Tenerife is such a popular destination for Brits abroad. And I thought I could mix a little bit of Spanish and Brits and into this side and maybe go up the table. Who knows? Who knows? So let's kick off with a live game. Oh great, bloody Chelsea. I swear matchmaking has gone down the bloody toilet in FC24. Literally, who would have thought R Tenerife will come up against Chelsea and think that's a fair ma 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 match? Wow, wow, what a run from Waldo. Hello, oh, still got it on. Okay, um, shot saved. Oh man, uh, oh no, it got wide. Oh, bloody hell, kind of got me up hopes there, didn't you? All right, Corwell now clears it, but the pressure was too much for him. Here it goes. Come on, let's get in there. Plays the through ball in. Lopez and saved. But it's a pen. It's a penalty to Tenerife. Wow, what a start to the game. Literally only three minutes on the clock. And it's 1-0 Tenerife. Angel of all people from the heavens makes it 1-0 to the island side. Cruz, good counter-attack and, well... Through so many Chelsea players around him. They're a little bit in shot, my opponent. Is that old cross got a little bit deflected? Yeah. Got ourselves a corner. But to be fair, he's a little bit in shot that I was able to take the lead. But corner comes whipping in. Header and Angel out of all players. Beats both Chelsea defenders at 11 minutes on the clock. It's 2 0. Sado gets tackled on me so easily. And Palmer, Gallagher now. This is the quality Chelsea have got. Christopher Nduku, Nicholas Jackson through easily. And it's into Cole Palmer. Chelsea's golden boy. So easy. Oh, my God. What a comeback. What a goal. It's 2-1. Plays it across now. Good pass. Waldo. I found you. See? Clear in black and white. Or should I say blue and white. As literally here comes Tenerife again. Chelsea letty onside. Lovely work. Shot. And what a goal from Waldo. The Chelsea defender thought, you're not going to pass. I'm not passing, mate. I'm shooting for the heavens. All right, can, uh, come on, come on. Oh, Casado plays across the restraint. Where's the bubble wrap? Because that's what you need around this guy. Good work from him. Through balls into Cole Palmer. Palmer to Nicholas Jackson. Great through ball. Christopher Duku, what to say from my keeper. And he reaches and grabs it. Free kick in my area. You know what? We're going to go straight down a little bit up. Where's the win? Put your finger out. I'm not sure where it is. Shoots and oh. Down low, but Sanchez was able to grab it. Plays it long there into Chilwell, who's going to get off on the counter-attack, which is not the good start in the second half. Oh, God, over the top. 
Oh no, the Ukrainian. Oh no, oh no, 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 please a cross web off the line, Leon. Clears it away. There we go. Safety for us. Oh, through ball. There we go. Waldo again. Trying to find the player. And I see my fullback making a great run. Look at that for a run, mate. It's the 4 4 2 style Tenery from a little bit of British mig. Oh, saved. God damn it, Sanchez. Oh, Angel still got it. Plays it across into Olo. Oh, get in there. Alveron, who makes it 4 1. I said we've got 4 4 2. This is a proper British slash Spanish combination. Sheer world through balls it into Wes Fofana. Now lays it across Casado. Now back into Cole Palmer. Mudrich now. Oh, not Mudrich. Sorry, I've pronounced that wrong. Through balls it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Carver's going to bite me. Oh, thank goodness he missed that. Whew, that would have been something close. Here he goes again. Leon from the back now. Plays it across to Amon. Amon able to duke the Chelsea player with absolute ease. A World Cup winner. I hardly doubt. Oh, my God. Center back's going for it. The run of dreams. Through balls it. And look at the space. Look at the time. Enric now puts it in. And that's goal number five for Tenerife. The more goals are just counting. And goal kick for us right here. It's played across the Leon. Through balls it now. Medorino plays it across. Oh, gets tackled. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Palmer deserves a goal. But Liam Gallagher saved. Enzo is onside. I don't know how. And it's 5-2 now. Calamity at the back. A bunch of clowns. And Christopher Ndugu plays across to Cheerworld. Cheerworld back into the Ukrainian. My God, he's been a real different maker off the bench. But we managed to get rid of it. 91st minute. I think we've got the game in the bag. No chance of at least coming back from this. Cole Palmer plays it across. Open net. It's 5-3. But it doesn't matter. Full time's going to go anyway. We get the win. It was a little bit scary at the end. But I'll tell you what. We've done it. I'll tell you what. That game was quite entertaining. Probably because it's 4-4-2. And you know Mr. Hort likes a 4-4-2. I've been reading through the Sean Dykes Bible. And it's been freaking good so far. But it's not about that. It's about this team. I thought they did incredibly well. It's just at the end. Sometimes things get a little bit sloppy. And there were a lot of sloppy goals I've conceded. I can tell you about that. But with that all said. I feel like uh, Tenerife deserved the score. 8.5 out of 10. Man, the match going to go to Waldo. I thought he was brilliant. I found him anywhere. He got the goals. He made the good balls. What else can I say about him? And with that, that is going to be ending today's episode. The Spanish edition is closed for now. But we move on to Italy. We've got some good teams that could represent the next career mode for FC25. But if you enjoyed today's episode, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you a lot later.